Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to configure DHCP on Cisco router for automatic IP address assignment in Cisco Packet Tracer. So the DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So what does it mean is like if you have a um, any uh, wireless router, right? So you, after you uh, enter your uh, username and password for that wireless router, automatically you are able to access to the internet. So how the, that thing is happening is it, it is happening through the DHCP. So in our scenario today, we will use the Cisco router here. So this is the router, this is the switches. So we will use two network. So we have a two interface for the router. One is gigabit zero slash zero, another one is zero slash one. So 0 slash 0, we will use the 1.0 network and 0 slash 1, we will use the 2.0 network. So what should happen that right now, if I click on the PC and if I go to the IP configuration, right now you see IP address. So this one doesn't have a IP address. So if I click DHCP, so you should get automatically IP address. You see 192.168.1.2.1.2. Okay. So what is happening as soon as I say DHCP, this PC send the request to the router, hey, can I have the IP address if you have available any IP address? So that router responds, yes, I have this IP address and this automatically assigned to this PC. So same thing, it happened um, to this network as well. So if I click here, right now, uh, right now doesn't have any IP address. So if I, as soon as I click DHCP, so now you send the request to the interface, gigabit zero one, then asking for if you have any IP address, then it's send the IP address and is assigned by itself, okay? So let's get a start. So what I'm going to do as usual, I am going to delete this network and we are going to create a new one, okay? So let me, make a just going to do a little bit here zoom out okay so this is the documentation for today uh, to the lab so the lab is for as i uh, mentioned earlier configure DHCP for automatic IP address assignment in Cisco Packet Tracer. So what is the objective? This lab will teach you how to configure DH, uh, DHCP start for dynamic host configuration protocol on a Cisco router to automatically assign IP address to the device. So this is the explanation. So I will add this uh, in the description for this video. So you can have a look and also you can um, do some search in Google, like what is DHCP, okay? And the devices that we are going to use is Cisco Router 1941 and two switches 2960 and few uh, PC, any PC we like, okay? So let's get start. So again, I'm going to um, get the 19 Cisco Router 1941. So this is the router, 1941 and Cisco 2960. So click on the switches, 2960. So I'm going to grab two switches here. And we know the connectivity between uh, so, um, router and switches is the um, ethernet cable, right? So I'm going to connect with the gigabit uh, ethernet on the route uh, switches port and gigabit uh, ethernet 00, 00 on the router. And this is from the zero run to the uh, zero two. Okay, and uh, let me get the PC again from PC to switch is going to be the Ethernet cable. PC to switch is going to be the Ethernet cable again. Okay, 
So now we have we are going to configure the Cisco router. So double click on the router. CLI and type no. Okay, so this is the configuration. So what I'm going to do, just I'm going to copy paste here some of the comment. Okay, so yeah, we are uh, first we have to do the enable, then config and interface gigabit. Oops. Zero slash zero and IP address. So this zero slash zero is the this network. Okay. So I am going to use the one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot zero network. So IP address is six eight so dot one dot one. So this will be our default gateway. Five 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 dot two five five. Up zero and no shot. Again, I'm going to configure the zero one network. So exit out. And if you press the up error, it will take you the previous comments. So now I'm going to type interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one. And again, IP address I'm going to use is two dot one. no shot. So both interface is done. Now we are going to configure the DHCP pool. So now how to configure DHCP pool? I also provide the comment here. I mean the, the configuration. So I'm going to just copy paste to save some time. Copy. IP DHCP. So you have to provide, say IP then DHCP and the pool, and this is the name of the pool. I name like my pool. Okay. And then the network. The network I say, we have to use the two network. First is 1.0 and second is 2.0. And the default router for 1.0 is 1.1. .1. And DNS server is not required. So I'm going to exit out this. Again, I have to do for um, network two. Okay, so I can just app error. IP DHCP, we, I already have a pool, right? So it has to be different name. So I say pool two, enter. And network should be 2.0. And default gateway for two dot network is should be two dot one. Okay, so now I'm going to verify to see if both my pool and my pool two, these two network configured successful or not. So to check that we have to use the show IP DHCP pool. So show IP. DHCP pool. Oh, I have to exit out from this. Exit. So show IP DHCP pool. So as you see, uh, let me expand this comment. So this is my first pool. And the IP address for this pool is 1.1 uh, network. And this is my pool two, and this is the uh, net two network. So looks like it's, um, it has been configured successfully. We also can use another uh, comment called DHCP binding. So show IP DHCP. Binding. Okay, so this showed IP DHCP binding. It will show 
all the in point, uh, the end device is connected. Right now is nothing, right? So meaning right now is, is not able to find any phone or any computer is having the any IP address. Okay, so I'm going to run this comment again after I configure the PC. The PC right now, if I can double click, desktop, IP configuration, you see no IP address. So that's why when I run the uh, DHCP binding comment, it's not finding anything. So now just click on the DHCP. So you see, is already send the request, DHCP request successful. So now if I run the same comment again, show IP DHCP binding, 1.2. So now if I do for network two, desktop, IP configuration, DHCP, and I'm going to run again, DHCP binding. Now I should see two of them. So now I can add, you know, multiple endpoint, um, like the laptop, Again, if I connect Ethernet 3, first Ethernet, and I can do it for network 2. Okay, so let's open config, IP configuration. So it's still um, as, um, is not connected get successfully yet, I have to wait. So I can say DHCP. Okay, so it's connection successful and it didn't get the IP address, you see. So now let me go back to the static again and again send the DHCP. You see now it get the IP address. So now I should see uh, three devices. See, three devices here. And from the desktop, we also can, um, uh, you know, get the new DHCP IP address through the program uh, uh, for the config from the uh, comment comment line. Okay, so let me show you here. The open the comment from, and the first you say IP config to see the IP address. So right now I still, we do see the IP address. So to get the new IP address or, you know, or, uh, you know, reset your IP address. So we have to use IP config for our slash release. You see right now IP address is um, 000. Okay, so now if I uh, type IP config again, See no IP address. Now I need to get the new IP address. To get a new IP address, I have to type renew IP config space for our slash renew. So now it send the request to the DS uh, router and asking for the IP address. Now you see is giving the IP address. Okay. Thank you.